some stoneware that's the bottom of the bottom of a handle. Oh my goodness, are you sure? Is that yeah. the bottom of not part, oh, of, a not raised, part of a raised I don't think know. that might be a part of a raised medallion sort of yeah. relief. Some pretty thick glass. Oh that's a bit of patterns. Oh is that that like that seaweed pattern which is appropriate. What's that piece? A little bit of red. These are pipes, them. Very satisfying to find another place, but we don't need it. That's that. There's that. A round thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's anything or not. It's very covered in goo. Do I to clean, clean it up? It seems too small for a penny. I'll show it to Kate. What is that? For not talking very much but we are hard larking with an audience and um, it always makes me feel a little bit self-conscious about talking to talking to you guys through the camera <laughs> I, think I see some copper sticking out there I do there you go we've come off a boat or a ship obviously not a ship like that but still cool some more copper. Some more. Oh, look. This bit's. Ah, oh, this bit's filled with copper. Okay, oh, look at the size of that one. Look how shiny that is. Oh, I might feel the craft coming on. I might stick around. I can see some more. But there might be other things in this bit. Look at it all. Yeah, there's so much copper. Look. Definitely gonna have to. Definitely going to have to do a copper craft. Ah, oh, there's so much. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at the size of that one. Obviously, I won't take all of this because I don't need this much, that much, but it'd be good for a craft, I think. Oh, yeah, there's copper now, there. There's copper everywhere. Different, un unusual ones. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, look. look. It's full of it. Wow, the size of that one. That's a square one. Yeah. But look, here's my mysterious round thing. <gasps> oh, has it got anything on it? I'd say that's definitely a coin. Oh, well, it's definitely not a penny. No, okay, cool. Last time we found loads of half peas, but that seems too thick for a half pea, too. So many bits of copper. Lots of boat nails, lots of square nails. What do you suppose that is? Huh, it's an oil lamp. That's pretty cool. That plate looks like it has something on it. Yeah, I've just got... A, I think this is... Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think it's part of the plate that I found last time I was here. <laughs> I have to wipe it down. <gasps> What's that? Wow! That's amazing! I swear this is a bit of that boat I found. I can't wipe it because I've got 
Oh, my hands are too full of other things. Breaking sealed. I'll probably find out what that is from that. That's crazy because I've still got the other piece at home. Oh, you have to cut in a bit because that film's not on here anymore, is it? But yeah. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Good for craft. How heavy? Oh. oh. Yeah, we came here a long time ago, didn't we? We did. It's a piece of pipe stem next to a piece of... What does that say? I can't read what that says. It's too dirty. Distributed something, I think. It could be modern, it's very thin. That's a very old bot bottom of a bottle. I think I found 50p. <laughs> oh, dropped it again. <laughs> Been here a while. Not that long though, I imagine. <laughs> oh, well, 50p better off. in the dirt. There's so many. This place is full. Wow. Is this all? Is this shot? Some just... Look, there's some shot. I, I guess so. Well, there's lots of little balls. Recognisable shape and colour. Is it just going to be a penny though? Yep, just a penny. Still cool though. Washer. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Great for craft. So another coin sticking out. Probably a 20p. Yep, 20p. I don't know what that bird is, but it doesn't sound very happy. It's a really old bottleneck. Bit of a mallet bottle, I imagine, Nick. Oh, it's really struggling to focus. It's getting dark. <laughs> is that... Is that a coin? Is that a really heavily corroded... Oh, sorry. I think that might be a coin under all that. Be cool. Quite a few pieces of pipe stem here. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Wow. This is the pipe stem bit. But I don't need these, so I'll leave these ones here. A little copper nail. Always use a copper nail. More pipe stem. I saw something over here. This is what I saw. What do we think? No. Shame. Just a pipe stem. No bowl. Absolutely tons of pipe stem. There's a familiar sight. <laughs> oh, and it's a war grade one. War grade vulcanite stopper. So it's war grade because it's Vulcanized rubber was scarce in the war and it was being used to make other things for the war effort so they scooped out some of the vulcanite and here yeah, it says war grade on it. War grade one? Yeah! How cool is that? That's very cool. It's just found a bit of a horn. Are you going to pick it up? Yeah, it's part of a out probably hmm. and it's really struggling to focus <laughs> now 
now that it's very clearly a coin, but I imagine it's probably not a very old one. Let's put everything down. Oh no, it's not a coin, it's a washer. <laughs> Looks like some pretty pottery. Oh, it's the tiniest fragment. Is that just a nail? Or... Really massive copper nails here. It's very, very cool. I'm under no illusions. Nope, just a long piece of stem. <laughs> Look at the length of that one. Wow. A piece of pipe bowl. Smallest piece. Maybe there's a whole bowl out there somewhere. There's also a piece of pipe stem. When we were collecting all that plastic for a job, me and Mum started collecting these and I know that um, Nicole from Scottish Mudlarking also collects them, the Smarties lids, and this is, this is one, it's not a J is it, the wrong way around, or an L, maybe it's an L, either way, gonna keep it. Is that going to be more stoneware? It is. Lovely. Quite a few bits of pottery. Are they all plain? Yep. It's getting quite dark now. The light is really struggling now. <laughs> but um, this is part of a ink well, pot pie ink, I think, or a blackening pot maybe. More signs of old bottles here. I imagine they'd all be broken. Okay, so I've been tricked a couple of times by shells today, but something tells me that that is not a shell. <laughs> it's a bead. It's one of those clay beads. We always find these. Wow. Brilliant. Okay, yep. Day made. That's a bead. <laughs> it's a piece of pipe stem with some seaweed growing out of it, which I think is quite cool, quite funny. So I'll leave it. <laughs> More pipe stem. It's funny when you mudlock, you know, in such a public place, you know, the street and the fish and chip shop just there, you get quite a few people. Um, calling out and just asking what you're doing, what you're looking for. So I suppose if you don't know what mudlarking is, we do look very strange. And it's getting dark and we're about to get torches out, so we're only going to look even stranger. Everyone's always so lovely about it though. We bought a new toy at the um, HMS, uh, the Mary Rose and HMS Victory Museum. And it's an um, extendable, oh, I was going to just take the, oh, it was it's an extendable, bendable <laughs> torch, and it's amazing for all the night larking we suddenly found ourselves doing in um, winter. winter. It's really cool though. <laughs> this is going to pick up or not, I don't know, but that is a very old bottle base. But I don't, I've got so many things in my hands. I mean, the, the torch. Yeah, big onion bottle base, possibly, or mallet but you probably can't see it. <laughs> it's so dark. Here, shining the torch on it. <laughs> Imagine it's probably got quite a good iridescence. There's a lot of pipes to them here. It's too thin, but... <laughs> What's that? Is it a bone? Oh, just a stone. <laughs> Looks like an unusual piece of pottery. Huh. 
Oh, I think it's a penguin with a scarf on, or just like a bird. Oh, that's really cute. Brilliant. 